hello welcome to another video in this video we will talk about how you can write the code to insert the data in your table as you can see that this is an employee table here you can see I am opened it in the browser and it is having few columns here you can see okay now if you want to see the table in the back end then uh, let me open it you can see that it is a system generated field this one is the nothing but the integer field this one is nothing but string field this one enum also gender this one also enum and the salary is a real field so if you want to insert the data uh, through the code using the insert method then uh, for that what I have I will do I will take uh, the job runnable job which is uh, having the main method now inside this I'll uh, write the code to insert the data in, in uh, into the uh, employee table now let me uh, write the code here as you can see that uh, we have a created uh, a buffer for the employee table now uh, to select the data uh, you already know that we are using uh, this type of buffer for particular table because it contains or holds the type of that particular table okay now to uh, insert or delete operation you always should use the TTS begin and TTS end so whatever the operation is there if it fails in between then it will it will go back to the previous condition okay so whatever the line will be there it will be uh, executed as a compact unit okay this also called a transaction okay now if you want to uh, insert the data uh, for a specific column then you have to apply the buffer and then specify that particular column column here employee id name is there salary is there designation is there and employee gender is there and we are specifying its value or we are initializing its value uh, like this as you know this is the enum that's why we are uh, selecting the value through the enum and a scope resolution operator like this so we are inserting the value as an engineer for designation and gender as a male and after that whenever you initialize the data then through the buffer you can call the insert method for each and every table there is an insert method okay so insert method what it actually do it will insert a record single record at a time so it's very much important if you want to insert the record then use the record set to insert multiple column at a time but use through the insert method you can insert the uh, single record at a time now if you want to see the uh, records that in this table no record is present over here so now I'll uh, make it as a startup object and I'll start uh, to see the result that this code is actually executing that our data is actually inserting into the database table or not okay now let me start it and then I'll show you the result once it executed now you can see that our uh, job is actually running the class data insert once it will uh, end the execution process then we will uh, see the data as you can see that uh, it completed now we will uh, open the table once again and we will uh, refresh it to see the result okay so as you can see that it is refreshed and uh, you can see that designation is engineer mm, gender is male employee id one and uh, employee name Roman Ansari and uh, the salary that I specified here it is inserted in, uh, into the table okay so this is how you can insert the record a uh, single record at a time in this case if you want to know how to use the uh, set base operation or insert record set then you can see you can see our another video um, about the insert record set now let me explain the insert method little bit uh, so that you can understand it in a better way so whatever I'll uh, say now uh, please remember this point about the insert method so I already discussed that the insert method insert one record at a time it generates the value for rec ID so if you'll see if you'll see here that 
uh, other than the fields which is available in my employee table it is also generating the data id id rec version partition id uh, rec id so these are nothing but the system generated field okay so this will be generated by the system automatically so whenever you will call the insert method all these field will be initialized by the system itself okay so it you have to remember that the insert method generates value for the rec id field and system field and then inserts the content of that buffer of the buffer that is column value into the database don't use a select statement on the table variable before you call the insert method so what does it actually mean it means that you always should have the value inside your table otherwise you should not use the select statement so if you don't have the value after the insertion of the value you should use the select statement otherwise you will get a uh, null value uh, from the table itself the next point that you had to remember the insert method does not handle all the key fields requirement and the table dependencies you must write code to handle them so if you have a dependent table and if you want to uh, write some code to handle the data then you have to specify those uh, uh, points inside your code otherwise uh, your uh, behavior may change so based on the dependency you have to handle your code you have to remember that now um, how the insert method works let's discuss about it the first point only the specified column of the row that you have been selected by the query are inserted into the named table so whatever the column is there you have to specify those column uh, then uh, that column will go to the query and it will fire and then it will be stored in the database you have to remember that you have to specify the column of the rows that have been selected by the query are inserted into the name table the next point the column of the table that is copied from and the column of the table that is copied to must be type compatible so for example this point to understand this point you have to remember that we can select the data from one table and uh, then we can insert those data into the another table so before copying from one table to another table you have to remember that the column type should be compatible compatible means and the data type of the field uh, should match otherwise it will not be possible to copy the data from one table to another table now the third point is that if the column of the both table match in type and order the column list can be omitted from the insert clause okay so that's it for this insert method we will discuss about another thing information in another video till then take care bye bye see you in the next one thanks for watching this video